I'm on to remind everyone you're listening to Sound Off this morning on AM 1290 and FM 1041 and WKBKRadio.com. I want to thank you for joining us. You have a phone call um, right now, so let's go to the phone call, and thanks for joining us. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. I'm interested in the, uh, I guess, a possible potential changes in the uh, parking fees and fines and everything. Okay. Uh do you really think I'm going to come into downtown Keene and take a chance on getting a parking ticket? <laughs> well, he... Now, okay, now you, you, they also propose changing at times from 8 to 5 to 9 to 7, which picks up an extra hour you're going to be charging. Right. Now, you, you know what downtown stores up up shop the past, but I don't do it anymore. Well, it, let me ask... It, it, it's inconvenient. So, so you know, I mean, I understand with the parking. So, you're, you're un, unwilling to spend uh, twenty five, fifty cents to to shop at a store downtown, but you're more willing to, let's say, go either to the Colony Mill or Center at Keene or Target or Walmart because there's free parking. Is that is that kind of your mindset? Well, it, yeah, it, it is. Uh, but also, too, no, you, there's nothing wrong with the stores downtown. But the city, I think, is kind of short-sighted in their, they're restricting it. It, 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 it. Right now, it's a quarter for a half hour. Uh, I think your proposal is going to be a quarter for 20 minutes. You know, it's... Well. Well, I, I understand, I, and, and I think one of the things, that, you know, and also uh, Councillor Jim Duffy did bring up an excellent point um, that was in the Keene Sentinel about some of these auxiliary parking lots where a lot of folks, if they live downtown or they work downtown, the rates are going to, you know, probably get them to be another $100 a month or so um, to park in some of these lots, and that certainly could be a hardship for someone who's uh, making, you know, minimum wage or close to minimum wage. Um, that's quite a bit of money. However, you know, one thing also, too, you know, with all of the parking downtown, um, one of the nice things is that even though maybe it costs you an extra quarter or 50 cents, you're actually going to businesses that are local businesses that are owned by local people. Um, and that money does come back into the area. And not to say that there's not local people working at Walmart or yeah. any of those other oh, places. Oh, I, I, I agree. I understand. But oh, you, look, look at my, my point of view. I was, I was downtown Keene. Uh, Oh, last seven, eight months. And by, by my guess, and my, my watch, I was like five minutes over the, the half hour I put in the meter. Mm -hmm. Boy, your, your parking uh, attendant there was right on the ball. I got a ticket. <laughs> and you were, you know, unfortunately, the uh, you weren't saved by the Robin Hooders. Um, <laughs> no, no, I, I wasn't on main, I was not main street. I was off a side street. Oh, okay. Um, so it, it's, un, it's, it's really in, inconvenient. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. Bye. All right. Well, no, thank you. Appreciate your call uh, this morning. And, and I, I do agree that um, the, the parking fees and the – well, and i got to remember, too, these are proposed increases in parking fees. Nothing has been um, decided at all. The, uh, the right. council, the, you know, the, it yeah. went to the committee, discussion. it went to the city council, they talked about it, they said, okay, we're going to need more discussion on this because there is a lot of controversy and a lot of opinions going on. Um, uh, a lot of the business owners in on downtown Keene don't want a parking meter increase because they feel it's kind of the way this gentleman does that, you know, it's going to, as a classic example we just heard, it's going to keep people from shopping downtown because it's going to cost a little more. Okay, but let's do this. Let's instead of just thinking right now because i got to spend an extra quarter for an hour's parking, let's look down the road three years, five years, ten years of what the parking is going to be, and we are going to need parking garages. We are going to need uh, the income from the parking, and the parking fees that are paid will help pay for parking garages and centrally located parking, and, and hopefully some free parking down in the city, too. So, you know, you've got to look at the whole, whole plan of what's going to happen in Keene. As it is now, you know, everybody owns a car. Single people drive cars, drive up, when, and uh, if they're going to stop and have a coffee or go to the frame store, whatever it's going to be that you do, then, you know, and if you're going to park there and you think you're going to be a half hour, boy, you better put the extra dime in, I'll tell you. Uh, and that's not the end of the world, but you should do that. Um, uh, well, I think also, that. too, you mean the, the parking fees and the collections they get from uh, the fines, they do go to infrastructure yeah, of, right. of current well, parking garages in town, like the right. Well Street structure and things like that. And that all stays, by the way, within that particular uh, 
a parking uh, account. It doesn't get used. You know, you can't dip into it to do something else to paint the buildings or whatever it may be. That's for the parking and what it's going to do. And that's really what we, how this came about because, you know, there was talk about taking the old YMCA and making that into a parking garage. That didn't seem to be the centrally located place that was best. I don't, I don't think that's best. a good idea. And then, then also uh, uh, there was a private industry that wanted to have uh, the city build a parking lot on Railroad Square. I didn't agree with that. Uh, and then it seems to come down to where maybe uh, Gilbo Avenue is the most centrally and logical place to have a parking garage but those are all plans that are just talking about, not right. written in concrete. Right. And, so. and also, one we'll thing see. is that I would like to see also, too, and, and this was brought up, and, uh, you know, with the parking fees, they want to, you know, the idea is that if we don't do anything for seven years, then the oh, parking yeah. fund is going to be $1.4 million in debt. Yeah, right. And yeah. so... It'll be broken, 17. Yeah, and so I'm just curious, though, I mean, does... Is there a way necessarily, is it is it really a revenue problem or is it more of a, sometimes a cost problem? Are we, you know, is, is that one thing that we need to look at and say, you know, are we, you know, is our cost running the prog- the parking program, can that be cut? Is that where it should be? Is that more than it should be? And I think that's something to take a look at also, too. Well, the other thing they looked at, though, was we compared what the parking fees were and compared to other cities, right. and we're considerably lower by about a third. But so I'm, I'm more concerned about the, the, the cost, though, and not necessarily... Yeah, the operational cost of it to, to enforce it, do what you have to do, have the employees or the people, the, the parking people who uh, give tickets and so on and so forth, yeah. So well, the, the percentage, I, well, that's, I guess I that's what that's I'm looking been, at. With I the, hope that's been looked at in the study, yeah. Right, I'm just kind of in a sense of looking at the percentage of money that's taken in and yeah. the percentage of money that goes to it the administrative cost to run that parking, you know, is is keen out of line oh, with yeah. other places? Is it right in line? I just that's just another aspect of this whole thing that I th- I yeah. think you know is interesting and and uh, maybe uh, we can get some info on that. Uh, yeah, I don't have the answer to that, but I hope that 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 they have looked at that what the cost is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know that when uh, when we were having a harassing of the uh, parking maids, then what happened was one of them left and we didn't replace that person. Right. So they tried to keep the cost down as uh-huh. much as possible. Um, okay, a quick other things. We've got a few minutes left, um, just a couple minutes. One uh, quick thing that you wanted to mention about the uh, the death penalty. I did.